Pete Thomas with the behind the scenes. This is part two. So, uh, very tired personally. This was a very long weekend. Did some stuff for NBC's Where They Now segment. So look for that coming uh, right around the day before Thanksgiving. Make sure you check that out. Some fun stuff, a whole bunch of stuff that we did over the weekend. But it's very, very long weekend. But anyway, you guys want to hear about this. So let me tell you, uh, one of the things that's very interesting was that challenge. Because in the challenge, by not revealing exactly what the prize is in, is in advance, you know, that's kind of a way for the producers and the challenge producers to make sure that, that things go a certain way. In other words, who knew, who knows what was in the actual box or, or what the prize was for the black team. It could have been that the black team would have had a two-pound advantage at the weigh-in, but yet we see that the blue team, what they actually won was the opportunity to go home, and the producers know well enough what's going to happen. They know that the contestants would, uh, would rather send the other team home. So, you know, that's always really interesting to see because it's an opportunity to change the direction of the game or to make sure that the game goes in a certain direction. I thought it was so cute when the contestants went home. We saw a couple of things. We saw Daniel's grandmother or her or her aunt there just playing with his jowls. Oh, and seeing how cute he was. I thought that was neat. I also thought it was oh so precious. Dina's son was just so precious. Uh, when he's sitting next to the treadmill, looking at his mom runs and, and running, he says, I believe she can do everything. I mean, that's just amazing. Junior, I believe his name was. You think about that. You know, your child looks at you, and they look at you as you're getting healthy, and they think great things of you. That's just an extra reason for you to get in the gym, to, for you to start eating right. I thought that that was so, really, so unique. Now, also, what I, what I picked up on is at home, I really suspected that the people that would come back the strongest would be Danny and Daniel. And so now we're taking a look at Danny, and I think that new attitude adjustment he was talking about, something clicked and all of that, I think we got to watch out for, for Danny. He's kind of scaring me in a good way. When I say scaring me, I mean he's looking like he's ready to kick some serious butt. So we have to watch out for him in the future. Uh, was it just me or did the whole time period that they were at home just seem like a very long ad? You know, between the milk commercial and the subway and the food bank. It just seemed like a really long ad. A lot of filler in there. A lot of filler. Uh, that's basically it. Oh, uh, Daniel and his emotional epiphany. There's something to that. And so there's always those of us who have gone through weight struggles. You know, there's always three things that I teach you have to deal with. You have to deal with the mind, the mouth, and muscle. You've got to deal with those particular things. So we see Daniel's dealing with those things after, you know, two complete seasons on the show. Now, again, as I told you, there's had to be something else, some gameplay going on behind the scenes because look, Legitimately, Daniel would have done the best at home. We know that he's gotten accustomed to being at home because he had the entire, you know, few months from season number uh, seven to, to work at home and do well. But yet, there's great connections and great binds that uh, uh, ties that bind near on the ranch. And so he's doing a, a masterful job of gameplay. And so we'll just have to see down the road how these things play out. Now, in the elimination room, you had to know when you start going back and forth and back and forth that Daniel was going to stay because Shay, you know, she actually had the last vote. She's not going to vote against her boy. You know, that was really that was really apparent down the road. All right, uh, that is about it. Those are all of the observations that I had. I told you it was real quick, so maybe I'll give you a little bit more update about this weekend. Well, let's see. We got together with about eight or ten other losers and did something fun and special, and then I had a little segment on my own. That's about all that I can tell you. You'll have to check that out. The Where Are They Now special, you can Google that and check out the website. We'll tell you more about that. Uh, that's going down like the day before Thanksgiving. Have an awesome week. This is Pete Thomas from winningman.com. Listen, remember, there's a winner within you. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.